So you've worked hard and pretty much perfected how you sound on OBS when it comes to your streams and recordings, unlike me. However, you still don't sound all that great when it comes to applications such as Discord or in video games. Well, not to worry because today I'm going to be showing you guys how you can use your OBS mic within any application or video game. And the best part about it is that it's completely free, entirely software based, and you do not need anything external such as a mix amp or another PC. And with all of that being said, what is up everybody it's your boy King K and welcome back to another tutorial Tuesday. Now it's been quite some time since I actually made one of these types of videos so please bear with me I'm gonna try to make it as short and sweet as I possibly can. Just before we get into the actual tutorial itself though if you guys are new to the channel and want to see more content like this or keep up with any of my other content be sure to subscribe down below as we just hit like over 2,000 subscribers which is absolutely incredible but putting that aside if you guys also enjoyed today's tutorial be sure to smash the like button as it will show me that you guys want to see more. With all of that out of the way, the intro is done and let's get into the tutorial itself. This little piece of software called the VB Cable Virtual Audio Device presented to you by the company VB Audio Software is the only piece of software that we're going to need for this actual setup to work. Link to this download page is down below in my description or you could just search for VB Audio Virtual Cable. Once you're on the download page, head over and download whichever specific piece of software you want depending on your system, whether it is Mac or or windows for me it's windows so i'm just going to click on this it's going to bring a pop-up and then i'm going to download the piece of software once you have downloaded the file you'll find that it is within a compressed or zip file so go to wherever you've downloaded it, go to the zip file and select extract all then select where you want it to extract to and well follow the steps once you've extracted the file you'll find that it looks something like this and it can get really confusing but the only two things that you're actually looking for is either the vb cable underscore setup or setup underscore x64 now this is dependent on the type of system you're running if you're running a 32-bit system you want just the underscore setup or if you're running a 64-bit setup then you want the underscore 64 file when you figured out which one you want just simply double click on it and then well it's going to say something different to you go ahead and install the driver itself i also want to point out that it doesn't really matter where you install this driver to it is technically an application but they call it a driver so no matter where you install it to it'll still work and now that you've actually installed this new driver we can move on to the second part of the setup what you want to do is bring up your obs studio itself and then go straight into the settings tab once your settings is open go down to audio and what you want to do is scroll until you find monitoring device under the monitoring device options you'll find something called cable input and in brackets vb audio virtual cable you want to go ahead and actually select this option and then click apply and okay to close the setting next up within obs studio you want to head over to your microphone click on the little options bar and then go into advanced audio properties once you're within the audio properties tab you want to find your microphone and then go over to audio monitoring under the audio and monitoring for the microphone specifically you want to select monitor and output now unlike when you select your headphone or speakers as your monitoring device for your microphone you will not be able to hear yourself back through your mic this way instead the microphone output is going through this virtual cable application which in turn will now allow us to use this virtual cable as a throughput to any other application or video game once you've done everything that i've just mentioned above you can go ahead close your advanced audio properties and move obs studio off to the side or wherever you want it to be and that pretty much concludes the second part of the setup now it's just getting it to work within any application or video game like i mentioned for today's main example i'm going to be using discord as my output but please note that you can pretty much do this in any application within discord you want to go ahead to your settings and then scroll all the way down to voice and video or within any other application where you're able to select your input device you want to go there now in case your output device has changed you want to go ahead and select whatever your headset is but for input device you want to again select cable output vb audio virtual cable once you've selected this option your obs mic filters will be in full play when it comes to discord it is important to note that unlike using your actual microphone within discord since you're already using filters on obs you may want to go ahead and change your input sensitivity as well as disable any noise suppression such as what i have done right here when you layer in noise suppression in discord and through your obs mic filters and may just end up making you sound even worse putting all of that aside what about any application or game that doesn't allow you to select your actual inputs well there's actually a very simple solution to that which i'm going to be showing you guys now what you want to do is go over to your windows tab and then search 
for your control panel. Select control panel to open it up and what you want to do is go ahead into hardware and sound. Once you're in hardware and sound you want to click on the sound tab itself and it will bring up this little pop-up right here. First things first under the playback tab you want to go ahead and select whatever your headphones are and set them as the default device. If by any chance the default device gets set to the cable input all you're going to be doing is hearing yourself. Once you've done that go over to the recording tab right next to playback and find cable output. Right click on cable output and set this as your default device as well as your default communication device. Since your microphone is working through OBS itself it's going to be playing through this cable output so your microphone is still working perfectly fine but by setting this to your default device and default communication device it will automatically force any application or video game to use this as its input unless of course you go ahead and select something else specifically but now that you've done these following steps you'll be able to use this in any application whether or not it actually gives you the option of selecting your input device and that is pretty much it now you could use your obs mic filters or just obs mic in simple terms on any application or video game one thing however that i have to mention before i end off this video is the fact that there is one simple downside to this and that is the fact that it cannot work unless you have obs itself open obs on its own unless it is recording or streaming does not tend to usually use much gpu or cpu power however if you are running on a weaker device i do have some things to make this a little easier for you now i cannot show this all in great detail because if i do it the way i want it to be done you guys won't be able to see anything on the screen. What you basically want to do is go to your scenes and add a new one. Under this, you only want to add your microphone itself within the sources tab. Now you have a scene with only one source and that is your microphone itself, which automatically means that it's not going to be rendering as much GPU power because it's not displaying your screen or playing anything else. Alternatively, when you hover over the screen itself, you want to right click on it and select enable preview, which will disable preview giving you even more of your own resources back. This will allow you to keep OBS open without using much of your power whatsoever so that you can freely use this application and well the application's mic filters uh, without running into any issues. And with all of that being said my mouth is dry as hell but the tutorial is over and now you can just freely use your microphone which sounds probably 10 times better than what it does in any other application previously or prior and yeah you just sound good now anyway so that is going to be all for today's tutorial i hope you guys did enjoy it i hope you guys could find it helpful and i hope i could have made your day a little bit better by improving your setup once again if you guys did enjoy today's video and want to see more like it be sure to subscribe down below and be sure to smash the like button to show me well i should be making more but yeah it's been all for your boy king k i hope you guys have a lovely day further much love to you all stay safe out there have a great day or evening further and uh, until next time peace